Welcome to the Fly Life Podcast. I'm John Barber, and as with me, with me as always is Brad Pilon. And today we're going to be talking about um, what's your goal? Like, what is what is you what is it that you're doing with your body, your your, your nutrition, your fitness, your workout, anything? And uh, do you even know what you're doing? Um, I guess we just finished. Uh, I guess I know we just finished. I'm pretty sure we just finished a, a teleseminar. <laughs> yep. And. Uh, and it always see no matter what we start with, it always ends up with what's your goal. Yes. Like even even though we're we're talking about like a very specific, you know, metabolic pathway and, and kind of function and all kinds of stuff that we started with, um, none of what we talked about sort of made any sense in, until you get down to defining a goal, and it just got us thinking about like wh- what are what what is the goal of exercise? What is the goal of paying any attention at all? Whatever to you the food you eat or, or nutrition or whatever it is. And uh, I guess this this talk will be what we think about that. And I guess we're just asking you, what is your goal? Yeah. Um, I can tell you that from from my viewpoint, most people's goal isn't what they say it is. Because most people want to lose weight, right? But what they want is to look better. And I find this interesting, you know, you're assuming a connection there. But e- – Bodies are a tricky thing, man, and uh, the the Pilon household just uh, was just ravished by about five days of stomach flu, and it was not a good scene. You know, little boy, little girl, both uh, making a mess over the house. Heather got sick. I was I was barely holding on. And the weird thing I noticed was that, you know, during I, I think I between uh, from Friday till today Tuesday night, I've probably eaten about three pieces of toast and. You know, maybe stole some Pedialyte from my kids. That's about it. So I've dropped a couple pounds, you know, mostly just being dehydrated. But I look horrible because I'm, I'm, I don't know how to describe it, bloated and, and sickly looking from, from being sick, right? So lost weight look worse. But everybody sort of assumes this connection between if you lose weight, you look better. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if look better is exactly what they want. As much as it is the uh, the spoils that they perceive go along with looking better. Oh yeah, like looking better just for the sake of like that's not a and that's not a goal in and of itself. There's no end to that. Like that's doesn't it's what that's going to do for you socially and I guess um, m- mentally. I, I don't know what the word is like to your self confidence. But but again, that's not you can't like lose weight. And then somehow look better and stand in a room by yourself and it's going to do anything. It, it still comes down to how other people react to you. Yeah, and I think it's how you react yourself too. That's a good point because, I mean, false expectations maybe. I mean if, you, if you're listening to this podcast right now and you're sitting down, no one's around, just, just lift your shirt up and take a peek at your stomach. right? And, and probably what's going to go through your head is like, yeah, I wouldn't mind losing a little bit of fat in my stomach. I want to be a bit leaner. And the news for you is that a person with, you know, what you perceive to be amazing six-pack abs, if they did the exact same thing, the thing going through through their head is probably, uh, you know, not bad. I probably, you know, wouldn't mind losing a bit more fat. It's, it, I think it's this misconception that, that there's this giant amount of happiness that comes with being lean, that six-pack abs are, you know, the, the end-all, the be-all of happiness. And once you get them, everything will be okay. But the... The truth in the matter, with when, especially when it comes to, to ads, et cetera, is that they're largely a result of you know great lighting, a great photo, et cetera. And even everybody but you think have people who you think have really sharp six pack abs don't have them for 24 hours a day every single day. You know, they're always kind of there, right? Like a lean person is a lean person. Sometimes they're blurry, sometimes they're not. But they don't mean the instant happiness that I think a lot of people are striving for when they're trying to, to lose weight. Yeah, I just it's it gets a little it gets a little uh, confusing, I guess, or convoluted. It's like you, I I just this image goes that go that this thought goes through my head every time I'm in the gym, and I see people in the cardio room, like it just looks so painful and so like I, I don't want. I mean, you said it best, hopelessly active. Like it's as people are training. It seems to be so hard, and they're in there every day, and they look the same like month after month after month, and and it's like a desperate look on their faces. And I'm like, what, what is it that you want so badly that you'll come in here and you just look miserable? Like it, you just like you're in pain. Yeah. Like you're just there's no way you're actually enjoying. It's not like anyone's in there with a big grin on their face.